most of you, I'm guessing, have already heard uh, about Stride. You look at the uh, impacts uh, that come through spoofing, tampering, repudiation, information disclosure, denial of service, escalation of privilege. You have to uh, basically look at your representation and say, oh, looks like this element on Stride per element, looks like this element has a problem with spoofing and it happens this way and that way it doesn't authenticate. I can't guarantee that whomever is talking to it is actually who's talk, uh, who's, who they say they are and so on and so forth. So this one is security focused. As you seen last month, uh, Linda, basically the same approach, but now we are looking at privacy impacts. Then you have dear and, and closest to my heart, CTM, continuous threat modeling, where basically you are taking a fundamentals approach to uh, how threats get introduced in a, in a system. So basically you have a baseline threat model and then you threat model every story. And you use a if this, then that uh, list for developers themselves to figure out what are the threats that they are introducing to the system and how to remediate them. And these all start with a model to analyze. So apart perhaps from uh, CTM, which can start from, from zero, but uh, uh, Stride and Lindum sort of require you to at least have an idea of what is it that you are building. You have that representation, you have that uh, DFD, that data flow diagram, and you are able to refer to it so that you understand what is it that we are building. Remember the four questions of uh, Adam Shostak of the Threat Modeling Manifesto. First one, what are we building? So that's in heavy part, the modeling. Uh, the second, what can go wrong? Which is again, heavy part, the analysis. What can we do about it? The remediation of those findings. And then in fourth, once you finish that round of the process, did we do a good job and how do we improve on the next one, right? And then we have Tara, which is less based on a, a model to analyze, and it's more focused on, uh, it's a spreadsheet-based approach, and it's more focused on the assets and whatever tactics a possible adversary could use. So you could say that it's attack-focused. So we have the modeling and we have the analysis. 